Hello. Hello, Connor. Hello. Hello Larry. How, how are you guys doing? Um, Good. How are you? Great. First, I enjoyed the series. I had to somehow I missed out on season one, so I had to go like on a real series oh binge of two seasons <laughs> in three days. So I'm like so fresh on the on the whole story. <laughs> That like I could, I could probably act out some of you guys' scenes, not as good as you guys. I I'm sure better. <laughs> but Colin, my first question is to you. Um, I, I you know I've I've been as a film critic and journalist. I've been traveling to Toronto for several years to cover TIFF. And I wonder like how much a part of your dream to be an actor was was urged on by having that big film community, a big film festival, right in your backyard. I love Toronto. I love Toronto as a city. I love Toronto as a film community. I mean, I grew up um, going to TIFF. I mean, there. I don't know if it's still a rule, actually, but when I was a kid, at least, there was an eight, because the movies there were unrated, there was an 18 and up age limit. And I remember being 10 and 11, 12, sneaking into movies <laughs> at TIFF uh, and sitting in the back row watching Margot at the wedding and being like, why are all these people walking out? I think this is cool. <laughs> And it, like that level of energy and excitement that comes from from having that, um, you know, I, it's one thing to walk, go to the theater and watch a movie, but there's a different sort of, of enthusiasm that comes in that setting. And I think that really meant a lot to me. And it still does mean a lot to me. And it, it always gets me, it always reminds me annually that I love movies and why I love yeah. movies. Yeah. Uh, Darby, I, I know that your character doesn't get to use the keys as much through the, at least through the first season and going into the second season, but yeah. I, I, I wonder like which key is most relatable to you? Like for me, I think that getting in your, your head key is something that's as magical as it is. I think it's something that we all experience. Do, do you, do you relate any way to any of the keys? Yeah. Um... Yeah, the, the head key definitely, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, I mean, psychological examination of your own thoughts and fears and feelings. Um, I think, yeah, there's, there's some real relatability to that. Wouldn't it be great if there was an actual key? <laughs> we could be that literal about it. But I do feel like on some level, I, I relate to that. Um, it's a fun show. It's a fun concept to have all of these keys that each have different you know, magical powers and each do their own little special thing and and to see how the characters relate to them. I am a little, uh, I've had a little bit of key envy with the other actors and how much they <laughs> interact with them. Yeah, yeah. There's enough keys for everyone. <laughs> here so it's got to be possible to get it out how how are you i i don't i uh, found a new key mom i'm calling it the hercules key because it makes you super strong you found a key i, I wish that you could remember magic oh my remember what what are you doing up here Moving stuff to help fix up Duncan's room. Oh, that's really nice of you. You know, I think he's really excited to be staying with us. Hey, how'd you move that couch? Did Tyler help you? I sort of did it myself. Wow, my little man. You're getting so strong. <laughs> and I wonder when you look at, you know, 24 NCIS and Scandal, like, I, yeah. I see you have a lot of work on your on your resume that's not as much okay. fantasy. Is it fun or playing fantasy stuff where, you know, like, you know, there's room for a yeah, it's, the audience? Sure. I mean, I, I will say after seven seasons of Scandal, which is, you know, a political drama, um, it, it was a really nice um, change of genres. I mean, it was just a completely different character about the opposite of of the last character I played on a, a long running series. And yes, many other shows that I've done, Mad Men, NCIS, a bunch of the others, um, really based in realism uh, or period pieces. And this is something, you know, unique to itself and that it's magic and fantasy. 
I'd, I'd always really wanted to um, do, a, do a show like this and have a role like this. So it was satisfying to, it's been satisfying to film this and um, get to be in a show that has this, has this genre. And, um, and something that me and the other actors talk about, like the show is just fun. It's just a fun genre to get to play in and all of the different circumstances that we find ourselves in act as actors on the show it's just it's it's a gas it's a laugh we have a good time doing it yeah well I yeah. loved watching it I mean and to watch 20 episodes in three days <laughs> <laughs> good job <laughs> it must be yeah, good congratulations. season yeah. three yeah thank you guys for your time thank, thank you thank you so much thanks Jamal <laughs>